Good day guys, Bing here. Uh, today let's model this railing. Okay, so this is on a sloped uh, floor. And if we create uh, another one on a flat floor, it'll be like this. Okay, so let's start. So first, uh, we're going to create a project. Okay, so and then uh, place a, a railing. So let's have a look at this. So this is uh, just a normal railing, and I'll just reduce the length. Okay, so let's start to uh, modify it. Okay. So first, I'm going to just duplicate, so create a new railing. And OK, so first, what I'm going to do, I'll just get rid of all the baluster. So go baluster placement. Just change this to, oh, hell. Uh, I'll change it to noun for now. And also, I'll remove this. So baluster on, on threads, on and also the and so the start post and the end post are, and also corner I'll change them to now and I click OK OK so now there's no balusters um, OK so now we need to create a family so it will be a baluster I think uh, we're going to use the baluster um, panel Okay, balance the panel. So open it. Okay, so now let's start. So um, the shape, that shape uh, we are going to model is is will be. I'll just quickly draw it. Okay, so it will be like like this. So go up, go down, go up. Okay. So first, what we're going to do is, um, so this is uh, in the left elevation. Okay, so this is left elevation. So in left elevation, just create some reference line. So reference line, uh, pick a plan. So we need to pick the center left and right. Okay. So now we start to place our reference line. So go first one from here to here and another one from here to here okay so now vv and turn on the automatic sketch dimension so now you will see all these zero we just need to align and lock them so align this reference plan and pick the end of this point so this one, pick this reference plan and pick this point. So once again, this reference plan, the end point, reference plan, this end point, and reference plan, point, and this one. So now all uh, these two reference lines being locked onto the reference plan. So if I change the angle here, if I change the angle, so for example, oh no, 220. Apply, okay. and if I change the height, all good. So don't worry about that. This can go there. So don't worry about this. Um, now we need to create a, a sweep, but uh, because we need a little. Uh, arc here and also here or here so um, we need to create that so um, we need to create extra reference plan so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one over here and create another one here so let's create one here first okay so we still need to, these two reference line here and we need we will create extra reference line okay so create 
So first, we need to set work plan. So set work plan, pick plan. OK, so pick this reference plan on this reference line. OK, so pick this one. And we're going to create reference line and use pick line and lock with this lock checked. Pick this reference line. And once again, pick this reference line. And go back here, use fillet mark tool, select this reference line and select this reference line and create an arc. And then click on this one, toggle join a uh, tangent C. One, two, and also click on this one, create a radius. Now you can select this radius and create a radius, let's call it R instance and OK. So maybe I'll just make it uh, a little bit smaller, 40. OK, so uh, let me just um, change the scale. So dimension, make the dimension smaller. OK, so looks like here, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll just leave it for now. So because sometimes you don't really don't you don't need to lock every uh, you, you don't need to constrain everything but I'll leave it okay so now we have this reference line so see it stop here and then begin with um, this arc and then another reference line okay so now we can create a, oh actually sorry we need to create another one here Okay, so for this one, I will create another reference line. Okay, another reference line here. So parallel to this one. So go create. Uh, hang on, let me let me think. So still. Um, okay, so first we need to create one, and we need to set the word plan. Pick a plan, okay. So pick this one, okay. Pick this one, pick this reference, a uh, work plan of this reference line, okay. And then create a reference line. So this reference line start from this point parallel to this one. So see this and um, roughly stop here, okay. So now I'll show you if uh, maybe I'll lock this point. So let me just A L reference plan this point lock reference plan this point lock. Okay, so I'll just leave it. So now if I rotate, I'll ch I'll change if I change the angle. Okay. Uh, Maybe 10. So you will see this uh, reference line always parallel to this one because the a word plan of this reference line is this one. Okay, so now we can do the same thing. So do the same thing uh, arc here, um, at here. So first we need to set word plan. Okay, so set for a plan, pick a plan, okay, so pick this one, pick this one, and then create a new reference line, okay, so new reference line, and use this pick line, and with this lock checked, pick this reference line again, so pick this one, and then use the fillet arc, select this reference line, as well as this one, create an arc, and then talk, talk, uh, join tangency, this one, and create an r, uh, oh, sorry, radius, and uh, associate it with this r. So now we have this reference line, this arc reference line, this reference line. This <coughs> Sorry, this uh, arc reference line and 
Um, I think. Oh, I think we need to stop. So we need to go up, down, up. Um, yeah, maybe we need to. Yeah, we need to know where this one stops. So we need to create another one. So let's quickly do it. So another helm. Let me just lock this back to so to here and use AL. I'll just lock this to here. Yeah. Okay. So let's quickly do another arc here, but not arc. Just we just need to determine where this reference line stop. So it will match here. Okay. So create reference line. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, we need to set work plan first. Set work plan. Pick a plan. Okay. So we just need to pick 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 this one and reference line draw reference line start from this point parallel to this one here and um, and also let me just lock this so uh, looks like it's all lock, locked don't worry about this so we need another one okay so cre create set work plan let's just double check make sure it's uh, so we pick on this reference so uh, work plan of this reference line okay so another reference line pick line lock and then pick this reference line uh yeah won't allow me to pick this reference line <clears throat> interesting let's try again so create set work plan pick a plan okay pick this work plan and go reference line pick line ah. interesting it won't allow me to pick another one um, it's okay uh, if, if, if we can't pick the line we can just draw a line okay so that's so set work plan, pick plan, pick this reference uh, line, and then reference line. Let's just draw it, draw another reference line. Okay, so just match this reference line. So I'm going to lock this to this reference line, and this time don't click on this. So we need to use this uh, fillet arc. So okay so first select this this shorter one so this one and then pick this one so now we can create an arc uh, constraint not satisfied um, that's okay let's just try remove it for now select this uh, arc create a uh, lock the ten, uh, tangent C and and create a uh, radius and oops constraint not satisfied something's not right let's have a look so maybe we need to constrain something here a align block uh, let's have a look on this one looks all good and let's try this Oops. So if I change this, looks okay. If I okay, so looks like this one needs to be locked back onto here. Let's try this. Oops, doesn't work. Control Z, Control Z. Let's lock it now. So let's lock this and this and lock. Um, let's try again. So I'll, I'll, I'll give this a 40. Yeah, all good. And then I'll, oops, so sorry. Uh, I'll give it the R. That's okay. So let's have a test. So 40, 30, good, 50. Okay, let's try different angle yeah looks good 
So uh, let's try a different width. So for example, 400. Yes. So now let's uh, click OK. And oh, sorry, we, we don't have any uh, uh, model in here yet. So we need to create the suite. So a uh, sweep. We're going to mod, uh, create it from this point. Go up, go down, and stop at this point. Okay. So let's create a sweep. So I'm going to use pick path. So pick this one, this one, this one, and this one. So OK. So edit profile. So let's go to 3D view. And so I'm going to just draw a, a, a circle here. So maybe 20 mil. So you can add parameter to, to it if you want to. Uh, and OK. And OK. So now this is part of change the scale. This is part of the uh, the the model, uh, the family, the rail, the railing, the baluster. So now load this into the project. Let's go to 3D view, select this railing. So edit type. Go to baluster placement. So we need to. So that should be family five, I believe, because uh, it's I think it's we it's four hundred. So that, let's just type in four hundred here, and for top railing, let's just leave it for now. Let's try apply. Okay, apply. Oh, that's that's quite good. Like uh, like the bike uh, rack. Okay, so um, let's. Uh, I'll just do a floor. Okay, and I'll just make it a uh, slope. Okay, down a little bit. Okay, so if I select this railing, pick new host, pick the floor. Good. Um, okay, so now. You can see this gap between here to here. We need to uh, raise this to roughly match that. And also, if you look, uh, we need to lower this bit to uh, match the floor. So what we can do is go edit type and edit baluster placement in here. So top, we can add we can increase this height so for example I'll type 200 and also this base base is based on the floor but we want it to lower to be lower apply uh, looks like it's still not enough maybe let's try uh, 300 and minus 300 apply oh, no. okay apply yep I think that's better Still a little gap, but you can, of course, you can uh, lower a little bit more or increase a little bit more. So this is it. So let's create another one here. Okay, nice. And of course, you can change the top rail. So for example, you can change it to a um, uh, circular. Okay, so and I'll quickly show you how to so under railing family five if you double click this you have this width so we can change this width so for example if if, if we want um to increase the width so change it to five hundred so you will see it's broken here, but that's okay. You can just edit type, balance the placement, and change this 500. Apply. Okay, apply. Okay. So, and also, if you don't want this top rail, so you can just uncheck this one. But make sure you go to balance the placement and check this, because previously it's 
top uh, the top constraint is uh, top top rail plus 300 now it's from host which is zero we just need to add another 1100 so 1400 apply okay so without the top rail and also um, you can change this uh, radius here so uh, it's not here let's have a look ah, it's probably because we modeled it so if you go edit this family and go family types so you will see this is an instance parameter so we just need to change this to a type parameter so now if I load this back into the project and go back to railing family 5 double click here so you will see this radius so for example we can reduce this one so it's 30 okay or you can maybe 100 something like that okay so that's it um, if I create another one on the flat plane oh good okay so that's it uh, if you have any questions please let me know I'll see you next time bye